All right, everybody. This is a 2020 Subaru Crosstrek. And as you'll see, somebody backed into this and didn't tell us. So I went shopped around. Um, if you buy a new housing from Subaru, it's like $445 just for the housing. I got this at Rock Auto, a new one at Rock Auto. It was 160 bucks, give or take. Total was 190, delivered in two days. Um, so we're gonna replace this housing. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to replace this front light housing in a 2020 Crosstrek. Okay, here we go. All right, so we put it up on, jack, on the ramps because you're gonna have to take off this whole bumper assembly and there's some clips underneath that we have to get and I'm a big guy so I want to have the car up a little bit all right all right so now you have to take out these it's a 10 millimeter socket one two three four five six that's the first step top fasteners one here and one here and they're real easy you just take a screwdriver just pop it open it just pry them out, see? They're easy. You just don't want, try not to break them. Okay, so now we got this whole thing off, see? It's loose. Now we go to the, go to the sides. All right. The next step's right under the wheel well. There's a little push, another one of those push things clips in here. I'm gonna do the other side right now. Come on over. So the easiest way to do it is just take a screwdriver a little tiny screwdriver and just push it in. Push in the little dot, then pry it open. Okay. And you just pull it out. And then the whole thing comes out, see? Can you see it? You just got all these pop clips. You gotta get all the way around. Can you see my finger? All the way around the whole front. Pop all those clips out. They're just pop clips. I'm probably using the wrong word, but I'm gonna pop them all out now. All right, so now we just, we took off all the clips. There's a whole bunch. And then now it's just pushed in. It's just pushed in with clips. So you just pop it out carefully and pull the bumper off. See, that's it. I don't even know if we're gonna need to take the whole bumper off. I don't think that we are to replace this light because I think I can get at the screw that's holding it in. So I think we're gonna just try it like this, which might be a lifesaver because you might only need to take off the half and just pull half the bumper off to get this out. So I'm gonna see what I got. All right. All right, so there's three bolts holding it in. Easy, there's one here. These are all 10 millimeter, by the way, one here. There's one here, see it? And then there's one in there. See it back there? It's way back there. Here, put the camera maybe down in. I'm not dropping it. See it? There it is. You can get to that without taking off the whole bumper. You do have to take off the whole top though, I think, and all the bottom, at least to this other light. But I only get to pop out the whole bumper. I'm gonna try. Here we go. All right, so we realize there's this bracket holding the light in. See this bracket here? And so there's another, a fourth bolt down here. See it? We're gonna take that out. And then I think this whole bracket will come out. Okay. And right here, another sneaky one right here. So I'm gonna pull that one out too. And there's also a little push pin. I took out the bolt. There's also a little push pin here that has to come out. All right, we just realized this metal brace bracket needs to come off. It's gonna be very easy. I just have to take off some more clips, but it's holding the light in. We can't get the light out. So that's the last step, I believe. So here we go. It's really simple. It's just two push pins on each side and two bolts. It had a little plastic cover. It's really not hard to take off at all. It came, this bracket, comes off and gets put on the new light and it looks like it's just held on by a push here. A push clip here, and that's it. It's a, should be pretty simple.
All right, so it's easy to do. It took us about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. You don't have to take off the whole bumper. You gotta take off this whole side. You gotta take off this plastic thing, this plastic bracket, and there's a metal bracket. It's easy to take off, but if you just pull it out far enough, you don't need to take the whole bumper off. And then you just, there's a lot of clips. Just remember where you put everything, but this probably saved us six, seven hundred dollars.